Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a clean title in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is actually pretty easy to do, but with just a couple of tweaks, we can create this and make it look really good. Now, I've seen a lot of titles that use a very like plain color, and this can a lot of times look a little bit boring. However, what we can do is we can create this sort of little bit of a gradient and we can add a little bit of depth to our text and we make it look really clean, really like we've spent a lot of time on it. It makes it just, uh, our videos go to like the next professional level. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. Let's get started. Easiest thing to do to start this off with is to create some sort of blank video that you're going to drop an effect on. So if we go into new item, we can either go with a transparent video or we can go with a color mat or black video. It doesn't really matter because once we drop our effect on it, it's going to erase whatever was behind it. So I'm just gonna go with a color mat in this situation. I'm gonna click okay and you can choose really any color. So let's just choose that color. Let's name this our background. Now we're gonna take this and drag it into our scene like so. And then we're just gonna drag this out. And now what we're gonna do is go into our effects over here and look for an effect called ramp. It's gonna be in video effects, generate down to ramp. We're gonna click on that and drag it in onto this background. You'll see it's automatically just erased whatever we had here. Now, what we're gonna do is go to the left side. Over here on the left side, there is a start of ramp, an end of ramp, and then the colors. And you can see that we have on the top here, it is this black that goes to white, corresponds to this black that goes to white. What we want to do is first turn this into a radial ramp. Now you'll see that instead of going from top to bottom, it's going from the center point outwards. We're then going to go over to this start of ramp right here. We're gonna click on this right one, not the left one. This is the X position, which is the left and right. We want the up and down, and we're gonna drag this to right about center. So let's just, we can eyeball it. Uh, it's really easy with the circle. Um, kind of get it so that it's centered right like so. You can also do the math of the scene, uh, whatever the height of it is, just divide it by two and enter that in right over here, which I believe it's actually 540. So I think that's perfect center right about there. So we can do that. So we now have it perfectly centered. Now what we wanna do is we want to create the colors so that we have that nice clean look. Easiest way to do this is to find a color that's going to be your start color. Or actually let's find the end color first because this is usually uh, where it works best. Let's say we wanna go with a purple in this situation. So we're gonna find our purple, right like so. We're gonna click on it. And now what we're gonna do is go to the start color. And what we wanna do is click on this and then click on the very edge. We want it to be our start color here. So now they're both at the same color. We're going to take this one and move it slightly lighter. So this one was all the way in the bottom right over here. We're just gonna move it so it's slightly lighter to the left over here. And you'll see it creates this sort of, a little bit of a three dimensional aspect right here. So you have this, the base color, but in the center here, what we have is we have this, this slightly lighter color that fades out to the edges. And this makes it look really, really, like I said, dynamic. It makes it look clean. It makes it look like it has a little bit of personality to it. Instead of just a flat color, we have this interesting element. We can adjust the, the sort of the size of this by if we go into the end of ramp here, we can move this around and what it's actually going to do is move where the ramp ends, which right now it's down here. So it's creating a circle from here to here. So if we drag this farther down, it's going to create a bigger circle. If we drag this closer to the center, it's going to create a smaller circle. So just sort of use this as the size of your circle. I'm just gonna keep it right around default. So I'm gonna hit the default right here, which is right around 1080, because I think that looks the best. It creates just a perfect circle from top to bottom, right like so. And so now what we have is we have the base title here, uh, or at least the background of the title. Now what we can do is just go in here and grab some text. And usually white text works pretty good for this. So we can just type some clean text right here. And you'll notice that uh, we can go into the graphics panel here and go to the right. And what we wanna do is we want to center this. And without a shadow, it can sort of blend in a little bit because of that background is white. So you're kind of going close to the color with the white here. However, if we just add ourselves a little bit of a shadow here, uh, it doesn't have to be really, really big. We can add maybe like even just a tiny little shadow right here. What it does is it gives it a little bit of depth to it and it makes it stand out. And just like that, with only a couple of sort of buttons, we've taken this and we've gone from something that's pretty boring, you know, just a plain background with plain text. And we've made it look, like I said, really clean. We've made it look uh, pretty professional here and it makes your overall production look a little bit more professional as well. That is it on this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and dump them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see my videos similar to this one, go ahead and subscribe button. I make a video every day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.